Dear Lord, I want to thank you for this day and all that it holds and represents in the lives of Megan and Paul and their friends and families. I ask that you would speak to each heart here today through this ceremony. And I ask that we who've entered into marriage will take the time to renew our own commitment and focus on what you've ordained. I ask that as these two prepare to make these vows, that you would bless them abundantly and they would seek you constantly and build their lives and marriage on your solid foundation. Thank you again for this beautiful day and great place in which we can participate in this ceremony. I pray this in Christ's name, amen. Well, here we are, Megan and Paul. It's been a busy time leading up to today, but we are finally here. Marriage is a journey. The journey from two separate individuals to one whole, what the Bible recognizes as one flesh. As you enter into this sacred covenant to selflessly and sacrificially serve one another, let me encourage you to look to each other's needs above your own. Paul, do you take Megan to be your wife? Do you promise to love, honor, cherish, and protect her, forsaking all others and holding only to her forevermore? I do. Megan, do you take Paul to be your husband? Do you promise to love, honor, cherish, and protect him, forsaking all others and holding only to him forever? I do. We wish for you both every happiness that life has to offer. It may not seem like an adventure on a day-to-day -day basis, but in the years to come, you will be looking back at the times you have had together and will tell stories to your children and your grandchildren about life in the Smith family. You two complete each other and have a beautiful family. I wish you nothing but the best in life and pray for many years of happiness for both of you. In the words of someone loved and missed, done good, honey. I love you. the authority vested in me by God and the state of North Carolina, I now pronounce you husband and wife. What God has joined together, let no one put asunder. Paul, you know what to do. You may now kiss your bride.